How do hardware wallets actually work? Let's start with the basics. A Bitcoin wallet is software or a physical device that is designed to store Bitcoin. But behind the scenes, it never actually stores any Bitcoin. Rather, it stores your private and public keys. Put very simply, your public keys are used to receive Bitcoin and can be made public. The private keys are used to send Bitcoin and should never be shared with anyone or you can consider your Bitcoin lost. Modern Bitcoin wallets will generate a seed phrase which derives all your keys and that includes your private key so your seed phrase is very sensitive information. Keep it safe. Let me quickly set up a typical mobile wallet so I can explain this a bit better. Here I have blue wallet. When I create a new Bitcoin wallet, it gives me a seed phrase, which I write down and keep somewhere safe. Behind the scenes, blue wallet uses this seed phrase to generate my private and public keys. Every time I want to receive Bitcoin, blue wallet will use my public key to derive an address. Every time I want to send Bitcoin, blue wallet will use my private key to sign off on transactions. The problem with this is that the entire process happens online where hackers could gain access to my keys. And this is where hardware wallets come into play. Hardware wallets take this whole process and move it offline. Typically, your hardware wallet will have a random number generator. That random number generator is used to derive your seed phrase completely offline. That seed phrase then generates all your private and public keys. The hardware wallet then allows you to export only the public key onto your computer or mobile device where you can start receiving Bitcoin and managing your balances. When it is time to spend Bitcoin, your internet connected device will use the public key to build transactions. You are essentially saying, I would like to send this much Bitcoin to this address. But this transaction has not been signed by the private key to prove that you are the owner of those coins. So the hardware wallet will take this transaction offline onto the device and sign it with the private key. The signed transaction is then sent back to the internet connected device where it can be broadcast to the Bitcoin network. Your private key never touches the internet in this process and that is how hardware wallets work. This is a pretty brief explanation and I have multiple videos covering how to use hardware wallets in much greater detail such as the cold card and seed signer with many more to come. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and on YouTube if you would like to see those videos when they release.